Hello dear friends, here is an interview I gave for Craft East, an online store selling some of my artworks and photos as paint by numbers. You will find the link to my stores in the description of this video. I am an artist and an entrepreneur from Belgium. I create videos, photos, illustrations and music. I was born in 1983 in Abidjan in Ivory Coast. I have a master in journalism. I also studied history of art, painting and sculpture. I'm a self-taught person in drawing and photography. I currently live and work in Belgium. I have been drawing and taking photos since many years. I have invented a series of artworks titled Pencil vs Camera in which I mix photos and drawings. I also developed other creative concepts such as digital circleism and flesh and acrylic. I have worked with and represented as an ambassador famous brands like Samsung and Mazda. I have also worked in the marketing and communication industry. My work has been exhibited and published worldwide. They have been exhibited in a large number of fairs, museums and art galleries. It was very hard for me at the beginning to make a living with my work, but I never gave up. I also started creating music and composing piano melodies since 2011. I think a masterpiece is not always expensive. An artwork has great value when it unites people together. It should be understood by everyone and have different levels of interpretation. It should be creative, decorative, complex and easy at the same time. It should be mathematical, it should be lyrical at the same time. It should empower people with good vibration and good energy. A masterpiece should definitely help people find answers to existential questions they have. It should give them hopes and faith for the future. A masterpiece should interact with its viewer. I think a valuable artwork should have taken a lot of time and energy to be achieved. Finally, a valuable artwork should always generate an intense emotion to its viewer. May it be love, admiration or disgust. Creativity is the ability to achieve an original production adapted to the context of the environment in which it was expressed. By definition, every living thing in this planet is the successful result of a very long creative process, which is called evolution. So creativity is the solution to any given problem. In human art, creativity has no limit. It's that little extra that makes the whole difference. It's the chaos in the structure, the structure in the chaos. For me, creativity means innovation, diversification and intelligence, depending on how we use it. Creativity can be found in all aspects of life, not only in arts. It's a very precious quality in any business or activity. Creating art is a state of mind. For me, it's some kind of meditation. The first steps of an artwork are the most difficult ones. They demand a lot of energy and concentration. It can be hard to find interesting ideas. The secret is to dig in your imagination as deep as you can and to always surprise people in a positive way. I hate to be redundant. When a good idea is there, it's just a matter of making it grow and not giving up. You have to follow rules to enter in a certain routine. Then it's more a matter of an automatic process. My artwork is mainly the result of new experiences I live. I'm really like a sponge. Everything around me inspires me. Life is full of surprises and stimulations. 
My ideas often come by accident while I'm doing something totally random, like taking a shower or having a walk outside. I am truly inspired by the people around me, my family, by music also, and by nature. I am also inspired by the world, daily news, and by the social injustices. I think artists are some kind of creative journalists, but without any political association. It is very important for artists to be creative mirrors of the society they live in. Furthermore, most of my artworks are a complete reflection of what I am. When I search for new ideas, I try to select the ones that are universal and timeless, the ideas that relate to certain people people and to all the people at the same time. There are different levels of interpretation for each of my artworks. There is the clearly visible form that everybody sees and there is the symbolic content with several different interpretations. Then there is finally what the image means to me and the context in which I made it. This is somehow less obvious for the viewer. There is a story behind each one of my photos. Some stories are more significant than other ones. When there is a very special message or anecdote behind an image, I always try to mention it because it's not always obvious for the viewer. But I truly think a photo becomes successful when there is no additional comment or legend needed. I have always wished to become an artist and to make a living with my passion and with my work. I decided to use art as a way to express myself when I was a very young kid. Then I used art to express general things when companies hired me later on. Art really helps me to find answers and peace to specific problems and troubles at a given moment of my life. Art helps me to exist and to bring something to this world. I really try to make other people benefit from these creative solutions and these creative escapes. In this world, we need more love, we need more consistent information, we need more energy. I have always had a very generous conception of art. I think everybody should have the chance to see and enjoy culture. My artworks are like my children. I want to make them grow and understood by as many people as possible. I think and perceive the world differently, therefore I express things differently as well. It is very important for me to follow a very distinct direction and to not be afraid of criticism. I consider myself lucky because creative blocks almost never happen to me. Because there is always something else to do when you have a creative block. There is always something simpler or that requires less creativity that can be done at any time. So if it happens and if I am blocked with any kind of project, then I simply do something completely different, like relaxation, sport or administrative work. I am an innovative person, generally speaking. I really like doing things that have never been done before. But don't get me wrong, I had to train the way I am using my imagination over the years to use it at its full potential and not be blocked during the creative process behind each of my image. Most of all, you have to remember that it's a lot of trials and errors. I think creativity has nothing to do with divine energy or magic. When I search for creative ideas, I usually start with very simple things and it becomes more and more complex when I develop them according to what I want to express. So thank you very much for having listened to my interview for Craft Ease. I invite you to discover my products and my store and my paint by numbers at Craft Ease. The link is 
in the description. So please, I invite you to subscribe to my page, like this video and share it. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye bye.